So there are special lenders who focus specifically on still built homes. And the reason being, guys, is because the financing side of doing a container stem from having to have comparables, a.k.a. comps. So when you buy a home, they have to compare it against other homes in a neighborhood for like material, like size, like amenities. It's the same thing on the container side. So because containers aren't as widespread used as a stick built home, that's why that has to have special financing. So to go into the nonprofit question, I spoke to several nonprofits today and they asked questions in reference to getting financing and doing their project. Now I'm putting my consultant hat on because my primary business is I'm a consultant outside of this construction stuff. I've been doing it way longer. And so from a nonprofit perspective, I need you guys to hear me loud and clear. You can do projects, but if you are a nonprofit and when you set your 501c3 up, you did not tell them that you're going to do container projects or affordable housing or um, do new builds or any of that, you can lose your 501c3 status if out of nowhere you start doing things outside of what you told the IRS that you're going to do. And furthermore, if you're doing it because you think you want to have collect rent and it's for a profit making activity, you definitely can't do it. And you definitely will lose your 501c3 status. And so what I would recommend to you guys is if you have a nonprofit, please start a for profit arm of your nonprofit so that you're able to do that side of it. OK, because the reality is, is that you cannot from a perspective of a 501c3 do certain activities that yield income because it's not considered fundraising. It's only fundraising if that activity is related still to what the 50C3 was set up for, but not necessarily because you're collecting rent 